Welcome back to CI Living on location in Springfield at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. And when you walk in the front doors here, you're walking into the life of our 16th president. Amy Martin is the director of the Illinois Historic Preservation Agency, which oversees the museum. And thank you for having us. Well, welcome. I'm glad to have you here today. It's very busy and just bustling season for us. It is good times in the summer. It Lots is. of folks coming out to meet perhaps the first family. Yes, <laughs> it is. This is one of the things that you that we feature here as you walk into the museum. You'll be greeted by the Abraham Abraham Lincoln um, family as they were leaving to go to Washington. And they're, and they're dressed in period costume. They are, and it's a great it's a great interactive tool we have here because you can walk up and get your picture taken with the first family. Yeah, and there's lots to look around here. I mean, we have over on my right-hand shoulder here, this is the log cabin like his childhood home, right? Yes, yes. That's actually referred to that as Journey One, where you can go through and experience the life and times of Abraham Lincoln as a child and as he grew up before he went to Washington. And carrying him all the way through into the, into the, the White very House. end of his life to the White House. Yes, and they, well, the White House is the second part of the journey that we feature here and it takes you through the from the moment that they left from Springfield to the to the entire period that he was president. Yeah, and it's really important what you guys do a great job with here is making everything interactive and that's important to you guys, right? It is a great way. We we try and make it interactive for all age groups from young children to seniors. And you've got everything to see here, including some important Lincoln artifacts. We have great artifacts here, original <laughs> artifacts from Abraham Lincoln and, and a lot of that is in our treasures gallery. All right, let's go take a look. Great. A giant bust of Lincoln greets us as we enter the treasures room. Yes. This is a neat place. Yes, this is one of my favorite rooms in the museum. It's where we feature some of the original artifacts of the Abraham Lincoln collection. And it includes everything from a, tea a teapot over here, a tea kettle, to his hat. Yes, the famous iconic hat that we have, Lincoln's hat. Yeah, which is a, a great piece. You know, and it's really important when people come here, you guys rotate these out a lot. So if you've seen something before, you might... There's always back. something new at the museum to come and see. The artifacts have to be um, preserved historically. And of course, we also have to keep in mind with the lighting and the environmental conditions around those. So we, we can't have them out all the time, but what we like to do is rotate those out. Mm -hmm. Being very sensitive to the materials, obviously, since they're so historic. And then the Emancipation Proclamation is here. Yes, we, we do have a copy of the Emancipation Proclamation, and we're very proud that it's the anniversary of that this year. Yeah, and you guys are doing something special with the Gettysburg Address, I understand. Yes, this year was the 150th anniversary of the Gettysburg Address. And so on November 19th, of this year, we'll be doing a special reading at midnight to commemorate the anniversary. Boy, that'll be neat. Yeah, we're doing a whole week long, uh, actually, a series of events that are include activities for children, activities for adults. We're going to be showing a movie. Um, we're going to have all kinds of different arts and crafts activities fun things to do th throughout the week. Yeah, so a lot of stuff for adults, a lot of stuff for kids, and a lot of great learning opportunities, which is what a place like this is so great for. Yeah, we, we really like to stress all the educational components of the museum and the library. Including the Civil War, which is coming up. This is the 150th anniversary. We're right in the heart of uh, the war period yes. here, and several big displays here. Yeah, we have, we have a lot of anniversaries coming up this year, and we're <laughs> really proud of that. So we also have one of the great things that draws people here is the high-tech exhibits, right? Yes, we're very proud of those and we're happy to say we have one of the only hologram exhibits in the country at a presidential museum. Well, let's go take a look. Sure, we'd <laughs> love to. And this is one of those interactive exhibits is the War Gallery here, I'm talking all about the Civil War and tons of pictures and you can use these computers to learn more. This is one of my favorite rooms. This is an interactive way for children to come in. As they see a photo on the wall, they can click on their favorite photo and enlarge it. It shows the photo up close and tells you a little bit of a history about the photo. And it, all these pictures on the screen correspond to what's around us. Yeah, so it's a great interactive tool. Um, and then behind us is the Civil War in four minutes story. We have this, the Confederate soldiers on one side and the Union soldiers on the right. And you said this is one of your favorite examples. This is one of my favorites. The story that's told on the screen is the, the casualty count is in the bottom corner there. And over four minutes, it shows you the battle lines that were fought in the Civil War. And as, as it gets towards the end, the actual totals that were lives lost in the yeah, war. Yeah, which we know is America's deadliest war. So, so much to see here at the museum. What are your hours? We're open from nine to five, seven days a week. And our website is presidentlincoln.illinois.gov. So now we're in the interactive, yes. in this cool exhibit that features holograms. Yes, we are. We are excited to have this here. This is one. This is the only museum in the country that actually does this, actually, and we have um, real artifacts that come to life in this 
great show. Yeah, and there's a, and that is a great show. And this, I remember when I covered the opening of this museum, you know, a bunch of years ago. This was highlighted, and it's still a great thing it to is. see today. I can't share any of the secrets though, because I'd get in trouble. But <laughs> that's right. And there's a, a reason for people show. to come down. So, yeah. what are the hours? And do you have a website. We do. The museum is open seven days a week from 9 to 5, and we're open all summer long. This year, we actually are also featuring um, some stuff at the Illinois State Fair. We'll be out there. and Including we'll be your fan. Our, our fan, which on the back actually has coupons for the museum and library, and it has a $5 off admission. In addition to that, you can get a, a 10% off on several of the gift shops for the state historic sites in the area. That's great. So much to do, so much to see right here. Right here in Springfield. Yeah, Amy Martin with the Illinois Historic great. Preservation Agency. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming down. We yeah. really enjoyed having you. Yeah, you need to come and get your own tour. And to do that, you can get all that information via our website. Just go to CILiving.tv.